Fear and anxiety are two powerful emotions that can often hold us back from achieving our full potential and living a fulfilling life. These emotions can manifest in various forms, whether it's the fear of failure, the anxiety of the unknown, or trying to step out of your comfort zones. These emotions can be paralyzing, keeping us stuck in a state of hesitation and preventing us from embracing opportunities. However, it's essential to recognize that these things aren't impossible to overcome. Overcoming fear and anxiety can be challenging, but it is an achievable process. I want to point out that I'm not a mental health professional. I highly advise you to seek guidance and support from a qualified therapist or counselor if you're dealing with severe anxiety. Mental health professionals possess experience and tools necessary to provide assistance and ensure your well-being. There's no shame in getting therapy, especially if you think you might need it. Nonetheless, here are some strategies that I found that can be used as valuable tools in managing fear and anxiety. Imagine for a moment that you're in a dark room, and your fear and anxiety are like the shadows lurking around the corners. They seem all surrounding, overwhelming, and inflexible. But now, imagine you have a flashlight, a beacon of self-awareness that can light the darkest corners of your mind. This flashlight is your ability to identify things that might cause anxiety. These things are the catalysts that set off alarms of fear and anxiety within us. They are the situations, thoughts, or memories that send our hearts racing. But here's the incredible part. Once we identify the things that make us anxious, we gain power to disarm them. The journey begins with self-awareness. Take a moment to reflect on your life in the moments when fear and anxiety have a hold on you. What are you doing? What are you thinking? Who are you with? By examining these things, you can start to find the source of your fear and anxiety. When you understand how it works, it can help the fear diminish. When you recognize a particular situation or thought is triggering your anxiety, you can begin to challenge it. You can ask yourself, is this fear rational? Is this fear helping me grow? Or is it holding me back? Speaking of things that help you grow or hold you back, taking certain substances and vices probably aren't doing you any favors. In a world where stress and anxiety have become all too common, many of us seek refuge in substances like alcohol or caffeine to numb our fears and worries temporarily. We may think that a glass of wine or a strong cup of coffee will help us relax or find the courage to face our fears, but in reality, these substances can often do more harm than good creating a vicious cycle that perpetuates anxiety and fear. I'm not saying that if you drink alcohol or caffeine, you have a problem, but they can cause issues in your life if not taken seriously. While it may seem like a temporary escape, it's important to recognize that alcohol is a depressant. It may provide a brief sense of relief, but it can ultimately intensify anxiety over time. Excessive caffeine can lead to jitters, restlessness, and an increased heart rate, symptoms that can mimic anxiety. Over time, Caffeine can contribute to chronic anxiety and make it difficult for your body to naturally regulate stress. Without the fog of alcohol and the jitters of caffeine, your mind becomes clear and more focused. You can think more clearly, make better decisions, and address your fears and anxieties with a rational mindset. Avoiding alcohol and caffeine isn't about giving up substances, it's about gaining control of your life and taking proactive steps towards a brighter, anxiety-free future. By making this choice, you're investing in yourself and your well-being. A healthy lifestyle isn't just about physical well-being. It encompasses our mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being as well. When we prioritize our health, we create a strong foundation upon which we can build resilience and face our fears head on. Regular exercise is a cornerstone of a healthy lifestyle. Physical activity has been shown to release endorphins that reduce stress and boost our mood. When we exercise regularly, we not only improve our physical health, but also gain mental strength to confront our fears. It's a natural way to reduce anxiety and promote a sense of well-being. Diet plays a crucial role too. A balanced diet provides our bodies and minds with the energy and nutrients they need to function optimally. When we feel ourselves with wholesome foods, we're better equipped to handle stress and anxiety. Eating well is not just about nourishing our bodies, it's about nourishing our minds. Sleep is a vital component for a healthy lifestyle, and it's often underestimated. A good night's rest allows our brains to recharge, process emotions, and build emotional resilience. When we're well rested, we're better prepared to tackle fear and anxiety with clarity and focus. Fear and anxiety are natural aspects of life, but they don't have to control us. By embracing self-awareness, limiting vices, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, and seeking help if needed, you can overcome fear and anxiety and become better overall. Remember that overcoming fear and anxiety is a gradual process, and it's okay to seek professional help when needed. You don't have to face your fears and anxiety alone. Seeking support from professionals and loved ones can make a significant difference in your journey towards managing these emotions. Be patient with yourself and celebrate small victories along the way. Your body can't sustain high levels of anxiety for an extended period of time unless you constantly feed it. 
If you're easing into your symptoms and engaging yourself in other activities, you will eventually calm down to the next phase of your recovery. So be sure to give these things times and don't try to rush your growth. I really hope that no matter where you are at life, you gain something from this. Let me know what parts you found useful or if there's anything you want me to expand upon. With that said, I'm Kale, and I hope you make the most out of every moment that lies ahead.